We have driven millions of dollars in revenue for our clients over the years using social media advertising and Instagram ads. And the results you're seeing on screen right now are just a tiny handful of the small businesses we've helped. So if you want to tap into the reach and sales other businesses are seeing and learn how to create Instagram ads, keep watching. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency with a mission to help small businesses grow. Today, I'm gonna walk you through every single thing you need to know about how to create an Instagram ad. But before we get started, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the digital marketing videos we put out every single week. All right, so first let's talk a little bit about what Instagram ads are and some important data to know. Instagram has about 1 billion monthly active users. And in addition to it just being a social platform for friends and family to connect, 81% of people on the platform use it to research products and services. That information combined is huge because it means within the 1 billion users, you're bound to find your target audience on the platform and you're likely to find them already in a buying mindset. Now, if you've watched some of our Instagram videos before, you know that organic reach is down. Even if you have a million followers, you're not gonna reach them all by simply posting organic posts. You have to put some advertising dollars behind your content on Instagram in order to get your content in front of more eyeballs within your target audience, and that's where Instagram ads come in. So with that, let's go over the different types of Instagram ads. Images, video, carousel, stories, IGTV, and the new Reels ads. So let's take a look at what Instagram says about these different formats. Image ads may appear in the square, landscape, or vertical format. So these are the most basic traditional form of Instagram ads using a singular static image found in the newsfeed and explore page feed. Video ads may appear in the square or landscape format, except for in Instagram stories. These also appear in the feeds along with image ads. Carousel ads will appear in the square format or vertical format on feed and stories. Carousel ads show as a swipeable set of ads that the user can peruse through. For Instagram stories, Instagram says we recommend you use a full screen vertical asset in stories ads. This format can support the same media you use in other placements. Stories ads can support feed placement photo and video dimensions, meaning you can upload a single photo or up to a 120 second video that has an aspect ratio of 916 and 169 to 45. For IGTV, Instagram says we recommend you use a full screen vertical asset for IGTV ads. This format can support all video creative up to 15 seconds that have an aspect ratio of 1.911, 16, 9, 1, 1, 4, 5, and 916. And for Reels, Instagram says you can only use a full screen vertical asset for Reels ads. So those are the different placements for Instagram ads, but you may have noticed that I showed them to you earlier in Facebook Ads Manager. And that's because you use Facebook Ads Manager to promote your Instagram ads. Facebook owns Instagram, so that's why you can conduct all of your Instagram advertising through Facebook's Ads Manager. Now, some of you may be saying, why don't you just create Instagram ads on Instagram using the promote button. And there are several reasons actually. If you watched my Instagram ad mistakes video, you heard me talk about why the blue promote button on Instagram is such a no-no, but the short version is that it has limitations and it is not as effective. That's why we use Facebook Ads Manager instead. So with that, let's get into the screen sharing portion of this video where I'm gonna walk you through how to create Instagram ads. So you want to open up your Facebook Ads Manager at business.facebook.com slash ads manager. If you've never ran Facebook ads before or you're not familiar with this screen at all, I will link Sean's video on Facebook ads for beginners in the description as well as my Facebook ad targeting video which walks you through all of the targeting options Facebook offers that can also be applied to Instagram ads. So you'll want to create a campaign and choose whichever objective best suits your needs. So if you want more post engagement, you can select engagement and then post engagement. If you want to drive web 
website traffic from your Instagram ads, you can select traffic. However, if you want traffic and direct sales, you'll want to choose the conversion campaign, etc. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna name this campaign Instagram demo, and then you're gonna hit continue. You'll land on the campaign screen next where you can set a campaign budget if you want to. I've done it both ways where I've set a campaign budget and I've also set the budget from the ad set level. If you already have a set method on how you perform your Facebook ads, you can follow that here as well for your Instagram ads. So let's keep going. You can hit the blue next button in the bottom right hand corner or do what I'm doing here and just click ahead to the next section which is the ad set level. So this is where I usually set the budget and schedule for any ads I create because I like to A-B split test my ad sets and have control over which ad set is getting the majority of my total budget. Below that is where we can enter in our detailed targeting options. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time on this here because again, in my Facebook ads targeting video, I cover every single targeting option Facebook provides. And I also show you how to utilize custom audiences and lookalike audiences to maximize your results. But what you need to know for this video is that everything I cover in that video applies here and can be used for your Instagram ads as well. So if you need help figuring out how to effectively target people on Instagram, watch that video next. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million in revenue through Facebook advertising. And guess what? After managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, I have decided to host a free training session to show you how to do this stuff yourself. So what do you have to lose? Go ahead and click the link below to get started. Now, up until this point, you may be thinking, how is this any different from creating a Facebook ad? But this is where we make it Instagram specific. So below the targeting section, you'll see placements. Click manual placements and uncheck everything except Instagram. Then you can scroll down and see all of the Instagram placements available. And on the right there, it shows you what they would look like to a user scrolling through along with the dimensions we went over earlier so that you know how big to make the ads. And that's important to know because the Facebook ads manager will stop you from using the wrong size ad altogether for different formats, but it will allow things that aren't necessarily optimal. For example, you technically can have a horizontal ad in an Instagram stories placement, which we know is used for vertical full screen viewing. So a horizontal ad would not be optimal there. And that's why it's important to produce creatives that are specifically optimized for the format and avoid just relying on Facebook ads manager to do everything right for you. Now, one other thing you might notice before we move on to the next screen is that some placements are not available, even though they are Instagram placements. For example, it will not let me select the IGTV placement here. And that's because not not all campaign objectives are compatible with all placements. So keep that in mind when you're planning out your Instagram ads. You'll want to check in advance first to see which placements are available for the goal that you have. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the final section here in the ad level. Now, Facebook is going to have several things automatically pre-selected for you, so don't let that throw you off. For example, when I first clicked here, it had the life marketing page in Instagram selected, but it automatically had the product catalog of one of our clients selected because it had dynamic formats and creative automatically selected. So I had to go and unselect those things before I could even start with my ad. So here we're looking at the ad screen after I kind of clean things up and reset all of the options that Facebook had automatically selected. Now, as I said, it automatically chose the Life Marketing Facebook page and Instagram for me. If you don't have an Instagram account already set up, you can technically advertise on Instagram with your Facebook page. It will show your Facebook page as the one hosting the ad in the Instagram feed. However, I don't recommend this. I would just go ahead and set up an Instagram account to keep everything native to the platform for users because oftentimes if people are interested in your ad, they'll tap your profile icon really quick to check out your profile first, but they won't be able to do that if your Facebook page is hosting the ad. Next, you have your ad set up where you can choose to create a new ad from scratch or you can select from an existing post you have. If you're wanting to boost your post engagement on Instagram, you would select the post engagement campaign at the beginning, and then on this screen, you would choose use existing post and choose the post you're wanting to get more likes and comments on. If you choose to create a new ad, you can choose from these ad formats, single image or video, 
carousel, and collection. For the first option, you can choose one image or video or a slideshow with multiple images. A carousel is two or more scrollable or swipeable images or videos, and a collection is a group of items that opens into a full screen experience. Once you've got your format selected, you can move on to your ad creative. Since I kept the create a new single image or video ad option selected, it prompted me to add my media. You can see catalog is one of the options and that's something that I wanna to pause to touch on really quickly. I unselected all the catalog and dynamic options earlier because we're a B2B company and we don't have e-commerce products to sell. However, if you are an e-commerce company, the catalog and carousel and collection options are your friend. Uploading your product catalog will allow you to do dynamic retargeting. So for example, if someone goes to your website, clicks through a few products and then exits, dynamic retargeting will find them on Instagram and show them the exact products they were looking at on your website and prompt them to go back and check out. It's a more personalized experience for the user because instead of just showing the same blanket ad to everybody, you're showing them products that they specifically looked at. Another thing is with collection and carousel ads for e-commerce, you're sort of allowing the user to shop right there within Instagram. They can swipe through your products conveniently right there in the ad and then choose to click to your site or Instagram shop if they want to see more. So I wanted to take a second and just mention that for any e-commerce store owners watching. We also have a whole e-commerce playlist that I will put in the description that includes Sean's Instagram shopping video. But all right, back to my screen. So in addition to those media types, Facebook also gives you the option to create a video right there within the ads manager. Basically gives you a few different ways that you can create a slideshow or a single image with transition effects to make it a video. And it shows you how that video would look to users. This is fine as a basic free feature to use if you're starting out, but I would also suggest checking out some of Jelly's new videos on how to design short Facebook video ads and how to design Instagram ads to learn more about creating really effective Instagram ad creatives. After that, you can put in your primary text or your caption, and as you add things or change your images, etc., it will update the preview for you on the right so that you know what it will look like in your different placements. You can also choose from a list of call to action buttons to choose the CTA that best describes the action you want viewers to take. At the top, it does give you the option to choose no button, but in reality, you do have to have a button on Instagram. So I don't know why that option doesn't just go away when only Instagram placements are selected, but I wanted to show you that in case you do choose the no button option, it will automatically give your Instagram ad the learn more button. Next, you have where you can enter in your destination URL. Now, certain campaign objectives won't have this part in the process. For instance, the engagement campaign isn't designed to send somebody anywhere. It's just meant to get more likes and comments on your selected post. But in this instance, you can choose to input your website or whatever your landing page URL is. Or if you're wanting to get more Instagram followers, you could run a traffic campaign and put your Instagram URL as the destination URL so that when they click the ad, it takes them to your Instagram profile. File. That's kind of the Instagram workaround of the Facebook page like campaign. Now, Instagram does have a more profile visits campaign if you hit that blue promote button within the app that we mentioned earlier. But again, you don't get all the same extensive targeting options or ad creative options that you have with Facebook Ads Manager. So I would still suggest just using the post engagement campaign or the traffic campaign to get more Instagram followers over using the blue promote button. Once you're satisfied with how your ad looks, and how it's set up, you can hit the green publish button. Now that we walk through everything, what questions do you have? Comment any remaining questions you have down below and I will get back to you on them in the comments. With Instagram ads, you have the potential to reach customers within your target audience that you wouldn't have otherwise. And because Facebook owns Instagram, you can utilize the same well-developed ad platform and targeting options for Instagram. So like I said, comment any questions you have for me and get started creating your Instagram ads today. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and I will see you in the next episode.